Good morning, welcome back to another video, and today is another day of the Zero to Gold Cap Challenge. Now just stick around and enjoy the video. Okay guys, so we've got pretty much a decent day coming ahead of us. What I've actually been doing is I've been doing a little bit of farming. I managed to actually gather up enough data for the Osmonite and Xenanthid farms. This is the first thing I want to cover for the day. The, if I go into my, my my farms, I can then see that Xenanthid and Osmanite ore is currently, the hourly rate is around about 17,047 gold on my realm for doing that initial farm. So, got hold of pr pretty much a decent amount. Obviously, I don't have all of my ranks in Osmanite, otherwise it would be a bit more. But, at this moment in time, it's seeming to be a very good multi-farm. The only thing that I would suggest, however, is I would start early in the morning as a side, as opposed to later in the afternoon, which I found trying to do this. Now, that is because so many more of the multi boxes are on later in the afternoon, so it's maybe worth your while actually going on and doing the farm earlier on in the morning. Obviously, we were trying to reduce the amount of cost towards our Silas Prox. And I decided to record this for standard reasons. Now, we will get into that in a second, but once of all, I would like to just show us how much we've actually got. We've got a complete full bag of crafted foods and or potions. Now, obviously, the potion, some of these potions will show a negative, but these ones are at rank 3 and I gain my money back from the Silas proc, which is 1.7. Now, aside from that, I did craft a load of scrolls of battle shout, fortitude, intellect, some codexes of the quiet mind, and all that stuff. And I will be go jumping on my tomes as soon as they become profitable. Now, aside from all of this, I did make some bountiful captain's feasts. We made quite a bit of them, and they are at a thousand gold profit. Um, that's pretty damn good for me. Um, obviously, I do have all of the ranks for that, so that is one thing that I do have on my side. And aside, and along with that, I do have a few of the tomes of the Quiet Mind as well. We crafted prior to the price dropping a little bit and causing it to be a bit annoying. It's saying 119 gold profit for the Tome of the Quiet Mind at this moment in time, but but at this moment in time, it's uh, still not that profitable. I used some of my, I have a custom price source set up for this to actually do it for my milling of herbs. And yeah, it's a lot cheaper if I bang on with that, doing it that way. Now, aside from this, the, the other things that I've done is I've actually crafted a load of the gems that I will be selling on the auction house as of that night and trying to see if I can pull on a profit with those. With that being said, we do have quite a few of those and we do have quite a lot of undertow, vast horizons, faster than the thalums and currents. Now currents at this moment in time, I only crafted a few of these as opposed to the others because they were at rank two and they were profitable yesterday, but as you can see, they dropped back down in price. So I crafted them when they were profitable and then I can now sell those on the auction house for a decent amount of gold. Aside from that, I don't think I'll be making that much gold back from the currents, but the rest of the stuff I probably will. So we've invested roughly around about 330,000 gold into all of our crafts. And if we pull up worth it right now, and we go into the bag value, I have a bag value of 511,564 gold. That's pretty damn good. So if we are able to sell all of this, basically tomorrow, we can then restock, recraft almost immediately, because we've been doing our daily cooldowns for the bag of anchors on all six of our characters. And then we can do that the following day for the Thursday. Which brings me into our little setup that we're going to be using for the week. So as of Monday, we have done the bag of anchors times six and one hourly restock. So for today, bag of anchors has been done and the restock has been done as well. Now, yes, Monday was the visual hill farm and, and today was the Xenanthid farm. Now, I've put this at herb slash ore because it's usually multi farms that I'm doing because I have mining and herbalism. 
as I will be prospecting the ore that I get alongside this and using the Dark Moon Firewater potions is seeming to be quite more profitable doing it that way, prospecting the ore and using the herbs for my alchemy because then I'll have gems to actually craft the necessary gems to sell on the auction house and then the remaining I can sell on the auction house uncut. And now tomorrow is literally bag of anchors and then 5 p.m. and 7 p.m. aggro post. Um, I've posted this as aggro because I will be sitting there from five o'clock till seven o'clock rescanning immediately after I cancel scan, as immediately after the I post and then I will keep cancel scanning till they get undercut then repost. That is basically what I've been doing is just aggressively cancelling and reposting to get all of those sales. That was mainly for the alchemy last week and that's how we pulled in that much extra gold. So hopefully if we do it again for the next three days of restocking we should be golden. After that is back onto the one hour herb and ore restocks after that with the at bag of anchors. So really we're only farming four hours a week and then for Wednesday, Thursday and Friday, we are aggro posting all of our stuff. The herbs and ore farms are to reduce cost on our jewel crafting and our, and our potions in order to maximize the amount of gold that's going on. Our downtime, any downtime we do have, so say it falls on one of my days off, I will be trying to get hold of additional ranks in my alchemy to make more potions actually profitable for the Silas proc and in turn try and increase that is how do you calculate a herb farm for the Silas proc so how much gold you're actually necessarily saving and basically all you have to do is get the gold per hour for that farm so instead of going to the instead of doing the Xenanthid and Osmolite Dal GG farm for myself I could always use the other one which is already in the worth it add-on, as we already pre-did that. And that one's 18,862 gold if we focus solely on Xenanthid. Now, that being the case, we're going to take the 18,000 gold, we'll just round it up to a nice round number, or round if we round it up, it'd be 19,000 gold. So let's just say 18,000 gold for simplicity's sake, instead of rounding it up, we'll just round down. So 18,000 gold and all we have to do is go into our calculator or something along those lines and just type in 18,000 and then all we have to do is then times that by 1.7%. All we have to do is times that by the proc rate and that gives us an additional 306. So we get an additional 306 gold upon the farm in question. So that's how much extra we're actually making. So 18,862, 18,862 times by 1%, which is now 320 gold. So that actually boosts it up just a little bit more in order to make it, in order to make it 19,000 gold per hour. So essentially we're making 19,000 gold instead of 18,800. So that's pretty damn good. Um, it's like a nice little uptake in on how in order to just evaluate your herb farm for your Silas proc, so to speak. And because it's only one particular item for the Xenanthid farm, um, it's actually a lot easier to calculate going forward. Now, if it was like something like a proc rate for the Azura's Veil farm, you'd have to just do solely the Azura's Veil instead of the volatile life you get alongside it. But it's one of those nice little upticks in order to see how much extra you're going to be saving as well with the proc. I just thought of it last night and I was like, actually that's not a bad idea to actually be able to see how much extra you're gonna be making. So obviously if you did it for like four hours out of the week, we'll say 18,000 gold once again, and then all we have to do is then times that by four for the four hours we're farming, which is 72,000. And then all I've got to do is then just go 72,000 gold per for the four hours of farming for the Xenanthid, times that by 1.7%, and that gives us an additional 1,224 gold extra that we can make on top of our farm, on top of our farms going forward. 
it's not an overly big uptick, but it gives you a good variation on where the actual cyrus prop is going to actually take hold within the farm and how much additional extra you're going to be making by just doing that farm. So you can then see if the cyrus prop is actually worth it for you to craft into the potions as opposed to selling the herbs flat out on the auction house. Now, personally, I find that the potions sell a hell of a lot faster than the Xenanthid, and with that nice little uptick, it's definitely worth it in my books, but for, aside from a load of other gold farmers, they could very well just sell the herbs flat on the auction house and see if they sell. Obviously, if you are aggressive in your posting, you do run the risk of not getting as much gold as you once thought you were going to, but aside from that, that is basically what we want him to cover. But overall with that, let's get into the gold for the day. So I just wanted to clarify the Silas proc on the actual farm to see how much gold you're actually going to be making only is one of those things where it's like a little uptick. It's nothing major, but it gives you like an idea on how much the proc's going to work for you because it only happens 1.7% of the time and with all of that Xenanthid or Riverbud that you're going to be using in this you can see where the proc is going to take hold. Obviously a load of different herbs do come into factor with this and if you've got your TSM set up right which I will be posting an update later this afternoon you will be able to see the uptick going forward when you're actually doing the Silas proc. Um, it's just a nice way if you are farming to craft, such as myself, you can then see how much extra additional gold you can make alongside that Silas proc. Now that being the case, the gold for the day is 47,942 gold. The things that are of note are, duh, 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 we sold 60 potions of empowered proximity for 13,999 gold. Along with that, we also sold one Highborn Compendium of Storms, 3,495 gold, and we also sold another Highborn Compendium, and we also sold a Primal Mooncloth Robe, which is one of our crafted transmogs, for 13,302 gold. If you remember right, that only cost us like 1,000 gold to make, so that's essentially 12,000 gold we didn't have, and that is why Crafted Transmog is amazing. It takes a little while to sell but it's definitely worth the investment in the long run. Aside from that we actually sold 830 gloom dust for 3146 gold and an enchant weapon of deadly navigation five of those for 1817 gold. The other thing of note is a 1736 gloom dust for 6580 gold bringing our total up to 47942 gold. Let's just pull all this gold in and then we can see how much gold we can use in the long run just to reinvest into all of that. So 75,614 gold is waiting for restocking. So if we wanted to do a fast restock, I already have my alchemist logged out, um, like an immediate log out when he had his potion of prosperity, which once pressed, if you log out, the buff is saved. So the faster you log out, if you're next to an innkeeper, it's almost immediate. So you've got those 10 minutes. All you have to do is open the mail quickly and just put and just craft, craft, craft. So that's another little trick that you can use going forward is make sure that you're logged out, is make sure that you are logged out next to an innkeeper or in a major capital city as the logins and logouts are near on instantaneous preferably is the logouts that are instantaneous, not really the logins. But if you do that with the Potion of Prosperity already active as the buff, you can then save those 10 minutes for later on, which you then can use if you need to resupply like halfway through your insane postings by buying a load of different stuff and therefore making a load of gold back. So we've got about 500,000 gold worth of stuff. We are fully prepped for tomorrow and yeah I, there are a few other things that I wish to craft like some compendiums which we can use that 70,000 gold for and aside from that that's pretty much all I have to say for the day. It's been a bit of a weird one but aside from that I will be posting the 
the my farms for the xenanthid and osmonite along with the root in the in the worth it imports channel on my discord if you want to import it and along with that the announcement on my tsm groups other than that guys have an awesome rest of the day and i shall see you tomorrow